principal forces teen to her knees, saying outfit was inappropriate. Amanda Durbin, a 17-year-old student at Edmondson County High School in Kentucky, had a mortifying day at her school for one of the most trivial reasons there is, her outfit. Amanda decided to go to school in a mid-length red and black sweater dress with thick black leggings. Her outfit was decent enough and her dress was a knee dress that she wore with black leggings. She got through the morning without any incident and no teacher made any remarks about her dress. However, when Amanda was in her third class, she was pulled out and sent to the principal's office after her teacher said the dress she was wearing was too short to go to school in. Amanda considered her dress to be very normal and decent, but her teacher clearly didn't share the same opinion about it, saying that the outfit was too revealing. I felt like I was somebody that had done something wrong even though I know I hadn't, Amanda recalled and her mother agreed, arguing that it was fine enough to wear to church, even if the school didn't think it was appropriate at all for the classroom, as NY Daily News reported. After being sent to the office, the confused teen said that she was told to get on her knees so that her male principal could evaluate whether the dress violated the strict student dress code and whether it fit the required length or not. Principal Tommy Hodges allegedly only planned to measure the length of the dress from the floor, but according to Amanda, she had already measured the dress herself before leaving her house and knew for sure that it met the school standards. The principal's demands made her very uneasy and uncomfortable. She didn't feel it was appropriate for her to kneel in such a way in front of Principal Hodges, so she decided to call her parents and ask them to come to the school, according to BuzzFeed. I didn't really appreciate having to get down on my knees, especially while I was in a dress, she said. Amanda said that she had to wait in the principal's office for her parents to come, missing most of her school day, as it took them two hours to arrive. With her parents watching, Amanda got on her knees in front of them as Principal Hodges measured her dress, something he says her parents asked him specifically to do, according to Edmondson Voice. Amanda still felt very humiliated as she knelt in the office in a way she deemed inappropriate. When she passed the test, as her dress fit in under the required six inches of space allowed by the dress code, which she already knew since she did the measuring herself, she said the principal then made her raise her arms to see if the dress would rise up. Defeated and disgusted, Amanda did as she was told. With her arms above her head, the dress measured eight inches from the floor and Principal Hodges said that she had broken the dress code. Amanda's mother protested the decision. I've had people saying that's something they would wear to church. If it's appropriate for you to go to church in, why isn't it appropriate for you to go to school in, she asked. Whether the dress code is a little more strict or a little more relaxed, we're a different entity than everything that has been mentioned, Hodges said. We're not a church, we're not a business, we're a school. It's where kids are learning and we're trying to educate them every day. According to her school, the dress code had been the same for three years but administrators had only recently begun to pay more attention to it, WBKO reported. We've told the teachers we need to be more consistent and we need to look at the dress code to make sure we're enforcing it, Principal Hodges explained. If the gap between the floor and the garment is more than six inches, it's out of dress code. The crackdown resulted in dozens of students being dress coded along with Amanda Durbin. There were at least 30 to 40 or more girls that were either sent home or told they needed to change because they were out of dress code. Some of them were wearing the same thing I was wearing, she said. But according to Principal Hodges, girls weren't the only students their radar detected. Boys had also allegedly been written up as ripped jeans, showing skin was also a violation of the school's strict dress code. The entire idea behind a dress code is one that not many people support. It is true that a student's attire shouldn't create a distraction for the rest of the class, however. What sets the degree to which we enforce the expectations? A high school student won't typically get on their knees or raise their arms above their heads at school, so why are these the positions they are required to assume in order to evaluate the way they dress? Furthermore, every school's full and detailed dress code should be clearly outlined in the student handbook and should be available to parents. 
Principal Hodges, who was only following the policy as it was outlined in the handbook, said he was open to discuss the dress code if the community felt that certain changes were needed. Every principal who wants their dress code to be fully abided by must first review the school rules and make sure they are being enforced properly before they are broken. This also serves as a lesson to other parents. You should know your kids' school dressing code if you don't want them to get in such humiliating situations. And if you disagree on the way their school deals with a tire ruling, you must speak up before your child goes through similar situations, not after.